All right, let me show you how sidechain compression works. Right now in my session, I have an instrument track with the expand plugin instantiated on it. And if I hit play, you'll see that it's just one long uh, synth pad. One long synth chord. So if we want to add a sidechain compressor to this sound to make it, you know, pump and breathe, First, we need to figure out what we want the compressor to listen to. We need to designate a key input. So for the key input, I'm going to use a metronome because it's simple. So here's our, here's a click track. Let's, all right. Now what I'm going to do is send out, using a send, uh, send out that signal to a compressor that I'm going to add to this track. Uh, let's go ahead and add this compressor. Okay, so here's our compressor. I'm going to send the click into this compressor. It's going to, and every time the click sounds, it's going to affect this compressor, and that in turn is going to have an effect on the synth. So, all right. It's much easier to just show you. So first thing we need to do is make a sin. So here are our sin selectors, A through E, F through J. And I am going to send out a copy of this click track to bus 1. We don't need bus 1 and 2 because this is just a mono instrument. Uh, so there you go. It's going to... It, pops up this fader over here and we'll come back to this in just a second uh, but the first thing I want to do is rename this bus I'm gonna rename it click okay so we go over to our compressor and there's this key right here and right next to it says no key input well we need to assign a key input in order for the sidechain compression to work so we're going to go over to our bus and we're going to select click which we just happened to name a second ago uh, so now that we've assigned a key input let's hit play all right you'll see that that compressor isn't listening to the key input. That signal, that's the synth. If it was the metronome, it'd be pulsing back and forth. So we need to, first of all, tell this compressor, don't listen to the synth. Don't, don't pay attention to the signal being sent from the synth. Pay attention to this uh, key input that we just assigned. And, and so we need to activate the side chain. And the way we do that is by clicking this key right here. So now let's push play again you'll see that you're not getting a signal so something has definitely changed and the reason you're not getting a signal even though we are now sending the click into the compressor is because we haven't turned up this fader so I'll start it now watch the louder it gets and then if I turn it down it doesn't show up anymore so that's what this slider does. Some effects change their character depending on how much signal you drive into them. And in the case of sidechain compression, this is definitely true. So let's tune the compressor, shall we? So first thing we want to do, change that ratio, bring down the threshold a little bit. can already hear it. Change the release time. All right. Let's make it, we can make it really drastic if we want. So there you go. That is a side chain compression, but we don't want to listen to that click. Uh, right now the click is post fader. So, if we mute the click, it takes it takes away it, it it doesn't send any signal to the compressor, and that's not what we what we want because now we lose our sidechain compression effect. So, what we want to do, if we come back over to this fader right here, we want to click this pre button, and this will make uh, this the copy 
of the signal that we're sending out pre-fader and it's not affected by what we do down here anymore so all right we mute it and then we could click pre so this is great because now the signal still being sent in but we're not hearing it in the main output anymore it's just being used as a key input on this compressor and if we want to see what the side chain is listening to if we're just curious we can click this little speaker right here and it allows you to hear the signal that's driving the compressor all right that's how you set up a side chain on your compressor